Greetings, ladies and metal gents, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales from Outer Space, where I take stories from across the internet and read them for your entertainment. If you would like to submit stories to me to read, then check the pinned comment down below. Anyways, on to the story. Wrong Turn, written by Coyote Havoc. Present! Teclum was lost. She should have come out of the hyperlane at Denfar, but the red-blue planet was nowhere in sight. Instead, there was a blue-green planet with a single satellite. No other freighters, no naval pickets, not even a signal saying, You are here! Frustrated, she hit the button to bring up the flight plan on her navigation system. Instead of a map of the local system and where she had gone off course, a symbol appeared indicating no service. Grazit! she cursed again. What kind of backwater system was this? She looked at the blue-green planet again and started to consider how she was going to get out of here. No signal meant no jump coordinates. No jump coordinates meant two things. Backtrack to her last coordinates and be late for her delivery, or jump blindly into the void and possibly enter real space in the heart of a star. Neither was a good option. She began to scan for any kind of signal, even a faint one could lead her in the right direction. And what she saw gave her a slight panic attack. Good evening, a creature she had never seen before began, and this is the news at nine o'clock. Well, at least the translation system was working. She sat there watching this thing talk about the conflicts where similar creatures in a place called Ukraine were fighting other similar creatures from Russia. As that segment ended, the creature began to talk about another conflict, this time between Israel and Gaza. The creature promised to return after something called a commercial break. What a violent species, Teclum said to herself. Commercials seem to be advertisements for everything from their entertainment broadcasts to food. Teclum considered the latter offer. She hadn't had anything for the last four parsecs anyway. The place was called Six Rocks Bar and Grill and the massive cutout grilled meat did look quite tasty. The brownstone looking thing didn't, but she accessed the communication systems of the violent species anyway. Her short range navigation system indicating a destination on the planet where Six Rocks was located and began her descent on the planet. Who knows, maybe a full stomach or two would help her think more clearly. After entering the planet's atmosphere and locating Six Rocks Bar and Grow, by conveniently placed six white boulders placed around the establishment, she looked for a place to land. There were a few smaller vehicles in what appeared to be a smaller platform at the front of the structure, but there was also several long and narrow vehicles parked in a larger platform on the side as well. She opted for neither and put up transport down in a large dirt field behind the structure. The facility was not in the best of shape. An organic compound Teclum had not seen before was employed in an open space where the creatures would inhale from small burning wrappers on some sort and exhale the exhaust. None of them paid her much attention as she entered the dim establishment. Several other creatures occupied tall seats along the red counter while another group seemed to be entertained by the brown table and a green depression. Teclum watched as they used the thin sticks to maneuver the white globe or to impact other more colorful globes in an attempt to force them into six holes along the edges of the depression. Welcome to Six Rocks, one of the creatures said to Teclum while baring its teeth. Can I get you something to drink? Teclum hastily took a seat at the counter and looked at the variety of silica containers that the creature motioned to. She picked a container with a red and white design on the front that seemed to be the most popular. I'll be right back with that, the creature said. The menu is on your left if you want anything to eat. Teclum looked over at the sign. Six rocks bar and grill. Cheeseburger, $11. Ten ounce sirloin, $18. Philly steak sandwich, $14. At the bottom of the sign, Teclum found an advertised item from the commercial. 16 ounce hand cut ribeye, 25. Teclum figured what the numbers were the cost, but didn't know what it meant. What was a dollar and what did 25 of them look like? Was it a lot of a symbol? How was she going to get that much if it was just a valuable item? Here you go, said the creature, placing the open container in front of her. I saw you eyeing the 16 ounce writer. It's very popular. Best steaks in Wyoming. Teclum nodded and was struck by how friendly these Wyomings seemed to be when the Gazas and Ukraines were fighting the Israels and the Russians. The conflict was on the privilege screen over at the counter, but it was now the 10 o'clock news. She didn't really know how long it had taken her to land, but the o'clocks might have been a long time. Teclum indicated 16 ounce as what she wanted. The Wyoming creature focused on the pad in her left hand and asked, Baked potato, potato salad, or macaroni salad? As for ducky for 
Declan responded, trying to buy some time to activate a portable translation device. Not from around here, are you? The creature said. Happens all the time. Chef can speak a few different languages. I'll go get him. Declan took a tentative sip from the brown container and immediately spit it back out. Yeah, I don't like that one either, said another creature, two seats down. Try this stuff. It's pretty smooth, indicating a blue-white on the red container that he was holding. He handed the container to Tekla, and she took a sip as well. The same sour, sweet, bitter flavor was there, but not quite as disgusting. She held down two sips, and he motioned for the creature behind the counter to get her the container like his instead. The creature behind the counter grabbed the new container and popped the metal fastener off the top, then placed it in front of Tekla. Happens all the time, no extra charge. Taking another sip, Teclam saw yet another creature approach from another room adjacent to the counter. This one was wearing a long white cloth over the garments and tied in front with a blue cloth hanging from the string on the right side. Bonacera, it said, looking at Teclam. Not understanding, Teclam just stared back at the creature. Not Italian, it said, then began to bring its upper appendages closer to its face. Can I help you? It said while using appendages to signal what it was saying. Teclan caught on, but had already had the translator out and working. Ah, I'm kind of lost and hungry, Teclan began. Uh, I don't have any of your, uh... Heavens all the time, it said. We get a few foreigners in here from time to time, so what can I get for you? Teclan was surprised at how friendly and understanding these Wyomings were. She ordered a 16-ounce with a macaroni salad. Best to stay away from the stone thing they called a potato. The newer creature, with the white cloth over its front, only its front turned and went back to the adjoining room. Teclam turned to the other creature with the red and white and blue container. Are all Wyomings like this? Wyomingites, the creature corrected. Don't feel bad, though. Happens all the time. It took a rather short time for the cooked meat to arrive, and Teclam thanked the creature. Where are you from? The Wyomingite in the white cloth asked. Very far from here, Teclam admitted. Well, let's see about getting you back on track. So this is Six Rocks, Wyoming. Which way are you heading? Slightly confused by how to answer the question, Teclan pointed towards where she assumed her destination was and said, Denver. Denver is south and east of here, the white clothed creature said. From here you want to get on the Interstate 80 and... Not Denver, Teclan corrected. Denver. The white clothed Wyomingite looked confused for a minute and then said, Jakarta. Surprised that he knew of her species, she said, Yes, I was beginning to think that I was in an uncontacted world. It is said the white-clothed Wyomingite. So, this is Earth, and we are called humans. The place you are in is Six Rocks in the state of Wyoming on Earth. Teclam frowned slightly. If you're uncontacted, then why are none of you curious about the way I look? I assumed that the three eyes would be, have been something new to you. Nah, nah. We got some Comic-Con people come through a week ago that looked stranger than you, the human with the cloth said. Well, I'm still stuck, Teclam said. Nah, you're only two parsecs from Denfar, across the local star's upper elliptical. How would you know that? Teclam asked, surprised. Everyone on their first trip to Denfar always takes the wrong turn at Bernard Star. Happens all the time. End of story. I would like to thank the T5 peeps, Cam Maxwell, Casper Arnholtz, Bushmaster177, Leslie517, Red Panda121, Cold War Boomerwaffen, Light Jock, Dragzoon WRE, Lord Azrakul, Severin Cerberus, and Arcadian. Thank you very much.